Greetings from the Philadelphia chapter of the American Guild of Organists. My name is Grace Crable and I'm the communications coordinator. Welcome to A Console Encounter, where we'll be interviewing and meeting with some of the pipe organ artists who will be performing in our area. Today is our first, and our first artist will be Richard Spots. Let's go see if we can find him. Come on. Hi, Rich. We found you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having, coming today. Yeah, and thank you for being our first guest. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Well, we've chosen uh, this interview, this uh, console encounter, because you have taken on a monumental task of learning the entire Lord Mystique by Charles Tournemire. Yes, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, epic work. It, it was written right around the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 253 movements long and mm -hmm. 15 hours wow. in, <laughs> in duration. Mm -hmm. And um, they are, it's divided up into 51 offices uh, or services. And it, it's a piece of music that, will, that flows throughout the liturgical year. So mm -hmm. it's a, quite an epic journey. Right, and you have it scheduled to play at this church, this phenomenal historic structure uh, through Lent hmm. and Holy Week. Yeah, it, we're at uh, St. Paul's Chestnut Hill and we're doing it Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday mm -hmm. uh, at 7.30 and uh, it'll go throughout Lent and uh, into the beginning part of Holy Week. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah. yeah, and you've been at it for a little while. It's not like you started last year, is it? <laughs> no, no, this has been a decade long project. I didn't even really know what I was getting into <laughs> when it, but it just sort of happened. And yeah. then uh, I met uh, Dr. Robert Sutherland Lord, who uh, was at Heinz Chapel. Uh, in, in Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and at the University of Pittsburgh uh, yes. campus. Yes, and uh, Anne Lebunsky, who also is in Pittsburgh and Duquesne. Yes. Both of them were students of Longley, who was a student of Charles Tournemire. Mm -hmm. And they both really, when they got a sense of something happening, they said, you're doing this, <laughs> basically. In a very nice uh, way, yes. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they really encouraged me through the whole process. And uh, the one regret is uh, Dr. Lord passed away uh, before the project was completed. Uh, but uh, we were able to do a performance at Heinz Chapel, you know, in his memory. And uh, Anne Lebunsky, who's still around, uh, is still a major advocate for everything. And yes. uh, so, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's a treasure, isn't it? Yes. Very historic. Yes. This yeah. is a um, G. Donald Harrison Aeolian Skinner. Mm -hmm. And, uh, That's okay, I don't know what that means either. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it is a, uh, yeah, so uh, Aeolian Skinner was a very famous organ builder uh, in, uh, in the 20th century. And uh, this uh, was one of his last. Uh, at the, he was building St. Thomas Fifth Avenue and this organ at the same time. And it was during that time that he passed away. And so this now St. Thomas's has a new organ, so that doesn't exist anymore. So this is ah. the, the final organ. Yes. Uh, so it's very historic and the church, although things have been added, mm -hmm. they preserved the original core of the Harrison. So you can mm -hmm. still hear the sounds of mm -hmm. Harrison. So it's a- What a treasure. Yes. So you mentioned esoteric, but are there parts of the piece that an a ordinary person in the audience would be able to relate to easily. Uh, yeah, it's, um, a lot of these pieces are tone poems. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, for example, the piece that I have here, this is actually uh, giving an account of the legend of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And um, they were, in the story, they were thrown to a furnace for not worshiping an idol. And in the furnace was a mysterious fourth figure. And um, in Christological terms, um, that fourth figure is sort of a foreshadowing of Christ and the resurrection. And so this piece happens around uh, Easter time. So uh, in this piece, um, you know, you hear the flames around the, the youth. So. Really, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, and you know, it finally erupts, and then you'll hear the the uh, the coming of the mysterious fourth figure. So. Uh, um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. Uh, oh, oh, well, thank you. And it's a, it's a remarkable piece. And I think that, uh, that the storytelling it can be very gripping because it's yes. uh, 15 hours of storytelling, if you want. And, uh, and uh, there are images of cathedrals, and he had a home in the Ile de Boisson, which is on the coast of France, and uh, you'll hear the ocean and different mm -hmm. colorful mm -hmm. things like that. Well, that portion that you uh, played, to me, it seems as though, not being an organist, as if I really need to sort of let myself go and let those tones and feelings uh, wash over me to be able to enjoy and understand what he was trying to convey. Yeah, and uh, one of the, the positives, well, one of my, uh, one of the reasons why this piece is probably not uh, well known is because you actually have to listen to it. Mm -hmm. it it's actually demanding mm -hmm. that you listen to it. And uh, we're not in that world anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. Or, well, if it, anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, um, uh, you know, usually music is put on in the background, like a child needs a nightlight just to sort of, uh, <laughs> right. you know, right. deal with the world around right. you. Uh, and um, this is requiring you to listen. And uh, I, yeah, for organists, we're usually hidden from sight. So you are just getting sound. This is all about the sound. It's mm -hmm. not about looking at something. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. You have to use sound to uh, understand an idea. Yes. So. That's great. Well, <laughs> it's living through in you. Yes. <laughs> so it was really a pleasure to talk to oh, you. Thank you. Thank you so and, much. And uh, we look forward to the series of concerts. Uh, that the first one is March second, mm -hmm. right? And uh, it's going through to April seventh. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you go on Facebook to the uh, AGO Philadelphia Facebook page or to organ concerts around Philadelphia, you'll see a detailed schedule. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all come. <laughs> yeah. It sounds fascinating. Okay.